For this problem, we have to determine which pair of expressions shown below are equivalent to each other. One way to determine this is by plugging a value in for the variable n and then solving that expression. You can choose any value for n that you wish, so I'm going to stick with an easy value, which would be the number 1. So I'm going to start with expression a, and I am going to substitute the number 1 wherever we see the variable n. So after you plug in the number 1, just solve and see what you come up with. 6 times 1 is 6, plus we have 4 times 1, which is 4, and we have to add our 6 at the end. 6 plus 4 is 10, and 10 plus 6 more is a total of 16. Now let's plug a number 1 in for expression b. So the first part of our expression is 6 times n, so we're going to change that to 6 times 1 plus 2 times n, which we will change to 2 times 1. Then we have to add 3 a couple of times at the end. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 times 1 is 2, and then we have to add a 3 and another 3. 6 plus 2 is 8, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 8 plus 6 is 14. So we definitely know that expressions a and b are not equal to each other. Let's plug the number 1 in for n for expression c. So we have 2 times the quantity of 5 times n, but we are going to substitute that n with the number 1 and then add 3. So we have to do what's inside the parentheses first, and 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 plus 3 is 8. And we have to multiply 8 by 2, and 2 times 8 is 16. So expression C has a value that is equivalent to expression A. Therefore, expression A is equal to expression C. And if we want, we can substitute the number 1 in for n for expression D just to make sure that that is not equivalent to either expressions A, B, or C. So really quickly, we're going to take 4 and multiply that by 1. And we're going to add that to the product of 6 times 1. And then add 3 at the end. So we have 4 plus 6 plus 3. And when we add these three numbers together, we get a total of 13. So expression D is an expression that is not equivalent to any of the other three expressions. So we are going to stick with the answer. Expression A is equal to expression C.